Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. That, that's what you call the ultimate reality. Yes, sir. So I do know that the Olympics is going on. I haven't been paying too much attention to it, bro. Like, it's too much other shit going on right now. <laughs> it's too much stuff happening all at one time for me to even pay attention right now. But um, Tokyo, you know, they um, called it off last year. You know what I'm saying? They're doing it this year. It's a lot of new stuff going on in the Olympics, too, bro. I saw three on three basketball, bro. They got skateboarding in the Olympics. Like, what's yeah. good? They, the, <laughs> I'm. I was watching the three-on-three -three basketball. It's actually a different sport because once they score, they don't take the ball out. They just grab the ball, throw it behind the three-point line, and just start playing again. It's like it's not like regular three-on-three -three basketball it, yeah. where you got to actually check it in and do all that shit. Like it's a fast-paced game, and the scoring is kind of like tennis. So they play like sets from what I could see. It was like sets of like – it was like tennis scoring, you know, so it's kind of like they done – re-engineer three-on-three basketball. That's kind of dope, though. I don't know who any of those people that were playing. I don't know where they got these people from. They weren't NBA players. Yeah. that's the They thing weren't college I'm players. I was like, where the fuck they get these people from? My theory is that um, white people had invented a lot of Olympic sports to get, like, they had to make some sports up to get not to say they wasn't good enough at the other sports. Maybe they just wanted more medals and stuff. But like, awesome. <laughs> they got speed walking and yeah, bro. Like, said, like three on three basketball. That's not make it take it, bro. Like that don't. It was count, different. Bro. I'm sorry, bro. That's not yeah. real three on three basketball. Like, like I don't understand some of these sports. I really feel like, man, y'all just need to win some medals and and something that. Um, and it's it's a more sports. It's more new sports that I didn't even see yet. Like they added quite a few. I know the skateboard, and I watched a little bit of that. I'm like, damn, bro, you got X Games in the damn Olympics yeah. now. Like, and I like skateboarding. It's cool, but yeah, I, you know, you would be people traditionalists all on some level. So you just not used to seeing skateboard. So not yeah, sure. not like, in what, the Olympics. What is this? Yeah, that's some X game shit. That's like next thing you know, they're gonna have a uh, monster truck racing and all kind of crazy shit like that. Yeah, and they really, might as well put spades and dominoes in there if they want. Man, to my pop said that he's like, why they ain't got pool in the Olympics? They got <laughs> ping real. pong. I was like, you right, bro. It's a yeah, skill it's, sport. That's the same type of sport, yeah. as well. But um, the other big story about the Olympics. So I watched the um, women's gymnastics on Sunday, right? And so. My mom was watching it with me. And so there's another girl on the team, not Simone Bowles. Right. My mom was like, she's amazing. That girl is great. Then Simone Bowles went up and she was fucking up, bro. Like first flip she did or second flip she did, she felt she went all the way off the mat, like completely out of bounds, bro. And I like even people that ain't at the top, they don't do that. Like she bounced and went all the way out. That fucked her head up right there. I saw it right when that happened. Like, she was off. She was like, damn, bro. Like, how am I out here right now? Like, I'm Simone Biles. I'm the, it was like a disconnect was going on. She killed it because she can jump like 10 feet in the air when she when she flips. But it ain't about the flip. It's always about sticking yeah, your landing. That's the Olympics. And she wasn't sticking none of her landing. So I was like, damn, something's up, bro. Like, something's off. And then, what was it, Tuesday or Monday? She just called her. She's like, my head's not in the game. I, I'm going to just not do it. Like I'm at the press conference, you know, a lot of people had a problem with how she explained what she was doing. Cause it sounded like she's not a team player. It was like, for personal reasons, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. And it's like, damn, bro, you got a, a team and you India. That's like, I heard somebody say, that's like LeBron James in the, in the finals be like, bro, my head ain't in the game. I'm just going to sit this one out guys. Nigga, you can't do that. <laughs> that's not, but See, now we're going to get into some touchy shit. So I had to think about it, right? Men can't do that. And we shouldn't be expected to do that because we are men. Now, when I see uh, Naomi Osaka do it and then I see Simone Bowles, do it, yes, there's a lot of pressure attached to it. This is like some new shit. I mean, even female athletes in the past didn't do this. Right. But... I, I had to really like draw myself back in. Everything's, it's all about this equality shit, you know? But at the same time as a man, there's certain things you can't do. So we can't even be looking for to, 
Because then if we if we start saying, well, they did it, so we should be able to do it. If we start doing that as men, we 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 bringing ourselves down a notch because we got to be mentally strong. It's not an option for us to not be well, mentally I strong. I agree on a, on a bigger level, but on the Olympics level, because um, you're right, it's a double standard. Because it's a double standard a lot of Yeah, stuff. and I don't think so that it can work the other way. Like, we have to stay in our position and keep right. our, be on our but square thing, all the but time. But the thing about, the, I always say about double standards, it's shit that's more, leaning more to fair for women and more fair for men. I don't know how even all out the end. But, um, so yeah, it's a clear double standard. Like, if it's a man, then it's okay to be more like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Like, you fucking quitter. But if it was a woman, you got to be more sensitive because even though it's, mm-hmm. they have more equal rights and it's, you know, more equality, it's still those traditional roles when certain things come up. And that, you know, that, that's that double standard. But to the specific point about the Olympics and um, Simone Biles, man, fuck that team. Like, <laughs> I'm unpatriotic. Yeah, so, yeah. like, on one hand, <clears throat> like, I do get, like, if you are teammates, you're like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, we at the Olympics, like, you the, you the fucking best, like, we need you. Like, I, yeah. I feel like she she mentioned that, because something like gymnastics, you have to be so mentally focused. Oh, yeah. I think she mentally not there. That's why she messing up for whatever reason. But, so I get it as from her, from her teammate standpoint, because, like, they got the right to um, not feel that shit. But from everybody else's standpoint, and if you patriotic, like, I get it. But see me, I haven't watched really much of the Olympics this year, but I, traditionally I watch the Olympics, but, and traditionally I go for USA teams, but, like, it's not all the time like that. Like, when you see it, same boat, like, I used to go for him. Like, I don't beat the American. I don't give a fuck about the USA winning the medal. I'm just going for the coolest black person. So, like, <laughs> I always had, I always had the, um, the philosophy that if I was in the NBA, I would never have a gold medal because I'm not going to play for this fucking country. Not even on no hating shit. Like, that's my that's my summer. That's my off time. Like, me chilling, getting my body rest, smoking weed or whatever the fuck NBA niggas do in the off time of the summer is way more important. I don't give a fuck about getting a goal. It's not important to me. Some people be like, oh, that's yeah. more important than the title. And then to the other point about, like, the Brian James comparison, that it's to this point, like, it would be really fucked up if LeBron did that. It would be a double standard, but because he gets paid a shitload of money. True. Very now true. Simone Biles gets paid from endorsements and stuff, but like technically, like to go to the Olympics and compete for like that shit is free. Yeah, Fuck yeah. that shit. I'm not doing shit for free for this country, like for nobody, bro. If a nigga come tell me, hey, bro, you can come flip down the street and try. Fuck no, you pay me, bro. So let so, me ask um, you this question. Okay, so this this is like a new phenomenon, actually. This whole mental health, I can't do it because I'm not mentally there. Um, we hadn't seen, and this does kind of come into the male-female dynamic in high, high intensity, I guess, sports at this point. Right. Um, but does this diminish the argument as far as you know, women being in certain arenas? Um, because of this whole mental, because we hadn't seen any, any men step up and say, look, I can't do this because my mental health's off today. Like, not mental to be health fair, be off a lot of days, but I no, got to go in to and counter do my that, like, it don't, job, it, don't, it don't change anything because, like, so you have men and you have women. So I believe in equality, right? So it should be equal. Everybody should be able to do everything so. Where do people fight for equal rights, men or women or whatever? People, it, this is not how it works. So yes, as the world goes along, like yes, it's more equal as far as jobs and stuff like that. But women are more um, coddled because they're women. You know what right. I mean, men are expected to be more tough. Men can be more obnoxious because we can get away with that. That's that's a man shit. Women can't have to be more refined. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, so like, I don't think nothing's gonna change. Like, shit. And to uh, and to the point about men, like nobody has necessarily quit. But in the NBA specifically, recently these last few years, you have three players: Demar Derozan, Kevin Love, and Paul George, who basically, and not to be insensitive, been fucked. They have fucked up in the playoffs or whatever, and mental health issues came up. Like, like all three of them came out and, and spoke 
on their mental health issues. And, and most of the reaction from the media was, oh, they have so much courage. And it was kind of mm. like, we got to back off a little bit on the criticism. You know what I mean? We got to treat them with kid gloves because it's a mental health issue. So I do see the same thing with me. I just mean yeah, I don't even recall either of those. I mean, maybe it did happen, but you know, like it wasn't um, publicized. I, Cause I, you know, I just- Oh yeah. See it. yeah. All three of those are spokespersons. Yeah. Spoke, like they have a whole mental health initiative in the NBA right. that started specifically, I want to say with DeMar when he was in Toronto. Yeah. But they kept fucking up in the playoffs. So mental health, it, he, he spoke out about his mental health. Same thing with Kevin Love in Cleveland. And then I want when Paul George got to LA, I want to say last year, two years ago, he fucked up in the play, that playoff piece shit for his mental health is like and all of them have spoke out about it and then like i said the media is is more like they would be getting killed more if it wasn't for their mental health because well, i'll you know, tell you i will tell you one person that i do remember and i can't quite remember his name marcus pfizer i think was it pfizer, yeah. I remember pfizer. he had um social anxiety was it michael marcus pfizer it was somebody from um iowa state i believe yeah that was marcus pfizer yeah he had social skin anxiety oh, yeah. um disorder so where he was able to do everything in college he got to the nba and for some reason and i i, I want to make sure i got the got the the player right i'm not sure if it was him but marcus tried to play for iowa state i think you might be talking about royce yeah white, but it may not be him it might be another guy but i'm um, talking about royce white it might be royce white it might be him but he couldn't perform he, he's like i can't go out there i can't do that i can't do it so fly and shoot yeah, yeah, he can't fly, he can't do this. So, yeah, there, there's players with mental... So the thing, the, what it comes down to is business at the end of the day. You know, if I'm a... Like I say, with the Olympics, it's a little different. And if Simone Biles was any other gymnast, they may just be like, bro, you got to go. You can't be on our team. Because that's always the option for the team to say, we don't, we don't want that on our team. Like, you're not mentally strong enough to go out here and perform for us. We, you got to chill then you got to you got to go sit down somewhere because this is the way sports is i mean throughout my sports career it was that it's like bro if you can't do the job bro you gotta let this, this he gonna do though, the job yeah there's a difference between depending on the level of player you want so basically team usa needs simone bowles more than she need them this was her last olympics anyway shorty got 27 medals she mm -hmm. one of the greatest Olympic gymnast of all time, like so. They, she don't need them. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. They and I'm, need her. I'm, I'm gonna say something. We saw this last Olympics. Gabby Douglas was Simone Biles that that year. She yeah. was Simone Biles the year prior. We saw a changing of the guard happen between them two. So this year, I forget the girl's name. I think it's Suni something. She's um, she looks Asian, but she's. She's black and Asian, I think. Yeah, I know and she about, yeah. that's the girl I was talking about that my mom was like, damn, she's good. Then Simone went up after her. It's happening again because she actually took Simone's place in the individuals and won the gold medal. She's now the new Simone Biles. Like they do this every Olympics. It's always like I mean, it's there's that's always just, that's a just the way the torch. Yeah, when it comes just the to the way that um sports work. I think yeah. like three Olympics be the most that them gymnasts ever do. Mm -hmm. No matter I, how Johnny Dawes. So yeah. you can only be around you 26, 27. I think that's when your life span ended up. Shit. So this was her last Olympics anyway. Then I was reading a story about this, and it was pretty much saying, like, she been checked out of this shit. And they brought mm -hmm. up an article from like before the Olympics, a few months before the Olympics. They were asking her, what's her favorite time, you know, about when she's doing what she do, Jim And she was like, her answer was, my time off. Like, she sounded like somebody who like they trained for this shit since they're a little girl, um, put in all this work just to be at that level. Yeah. You gotta dedicate your life to that. And she sounded this is our last go round, but she sounded like that she was kind of like over this shit before this Olympics even even started, but probably felt pressure to you know still go. But in the middle of that, she like you said, she was fucking up and was like, hell no, nah. I don't want to do this I'm, shit. <laughs> hey, I'm before out. I Every time before I quit, quit a job, I, I hit that Simone Biles moment. I'd be like, I don't want to do this shit no more. <laughs> Have an epiphany. Bruh. <laughs> so fucked up, land, land fucked up and be like, you know what? I don't got time for this shit. You be shit. in the middle of some shit too. You be like going, just like you always go, you be like, bruh, 
She was on the, she was on the, on the um, balance, on like... the balance beam. <laughs> yeah, you know what? So I feel you, Simone. I so do as, feel you. As soon as I stick this letter, I'm done with this shit. I'm <laughs> done with this shit, man. I quit. <laughs> nah, but um, um it was man. it was a um <laughs> I don't know, dude. Name he was a attorney, assistant attorney general in Texas. Um Dude, it was a gentleman named Carrie Strug. I think she had the broke leg or something back in the 80s or something. Oh, white chick. But he made a tweet and said, this is an example of a true patriot or something, not that miserable the, the thing that, for, like, she he really shitted on Simone Biles for, like, quitting shit. Then he had to come, I, I know the story because he had to come out and make an apology. It was, a, you know, contrived apology. Like, oh, my views don't represent the office of the attorney general. But, like, that's another part of the story, like, a lot of the vitriol she got, like, cause I could definitely understand if you like, you going for America, you like, what the fuck, you disappointed? But it's not that big of a deal. Like, you got to understand, like, she wasn't there mentally. You could break your fucking neck out there. You know what I mean? With your head being in the wrong place. Um, it's her right. She done put in her work for the country. Um, damn, they got 30 medals. So I get if you a little bit disappointed, but to, she's getting, getting attacked, you know, by a lot of... Uh, and you know, this is literally what happens when people that can't do what you do are the critics of what you do and their opinion somewhat matters, I guess. The public, they it's like none of none of these people can do a flip, not even one flip. <laughs> she can right. do three flips in the air at one time. How can we, how can any of us criticize anything she's doing? Honestly, right. bro, but that's our culture, bro. That's our society. It's real, it's, it's vicious, bro. It's vicious, the this this you know the social the weight that the social opinion has yeah we talk about these gladiators man these people that go out there and risk their about, um, to do things nobody else can do bro um nba ben simmons bro that dude gets shitted on and like partly rightfully so because it's like bro shoot the fucking ball bro you're trying to be too cool or something like Simmons, I, yeah. I, I never seen nothing like this bro like it's already accepted you're a horrible shooter, but just you shooting the ball will open up more like this. It's clear that you you worried about your image and shit, which is gay as, gay as hell, man. Shoot the ball. So people got the right to shit on them, but they shit, they go hard on him. Bro, it's like this harsh. dude, is all, this dude's an all-star. You know what I mean? Like he's still a great player, but like you said, bro. it's people who don't even dribble the ball. And <laughs> can you be honest with you, bro? The how fast. Everybody turned on Ben Simmons all at once. That surprised me, bro. Yeah, like, quickly. I get, you know, I've seen other people have bad series before, but this was like, again, like I said, it was vicious, bro. Like, I was like, damn, bro. Like, y'all forgot them. He was the number one draft pick. Like, he's yeah. really good. He, he all started he, triple doubles and things. I like, think he, bro. he came in second for hey. defensive player of the year vote this year. Like, he that a, was so it was like, yeah, you got to, you got to write to criticize, but. Like you said, they forgot. It's almost like Ben Simmons shouldn't even be in the league the way they nah, talk. They, like, if they, you didn't know anything about basketball man. and you looked at how they talk about Ben Simmons, you know nothing about basketball, you would think that he was like one of the worst players in the entire league. Like, yeah, trash, trash. Like, he's worse than a player that don't score any points in the league. And the, the 76ers surprised me also. It's like, okay, because the fans want him gone, we're going to trade him. It's like, bro, Ben Simmons been getting y'all triple doubles since he got in the league. Like, damn near every game, bro. Like, how are y'all going to just turn? But that is the truth, man. Owners got one, one concern, and it's literally people being – the fans being happy and yeah. filling up their stadium. So once the fan, all of – because the fans in Philly, bro, they damn, harsh. brother. Like, they did it with Carson Wentz. They vicious, too. Like when they bro. turn on you, they don't like you no more. Like you they can hate score you. like fifty points. <laughs> Philly fans, next, y'all, y'all vicious, bro. You score like fifty <laughs> points, then then the next game, miss the game when it's shot. They be like, get them off the team. It's bro. trash. Philly, bro. I, I swear. Hey, I love you, Philadelphia, but y'all fans, bro. I would never want to play for y'all. If I play any sport, I wouldn't want to go to Philadelphia, bro. Never. I bro. would. I would like to think that like I'm above never, that bro. shit, but I already know how I am. If I was gonna be in a place like Philly. I'll be having to talk shit back. So I'm like, y'all be mean about that. Oh, bro. But that's a bad yeah. idea with yeah, Philly fans. <laughs> exactly, bro. You feel right into that shit. Daddy, they don't have to trade me. Bro, I think New York and Philly probably two of the hardest places to play because New York can do you like yeah. that too. Like, you have one bad game, they blackballing right. you. Because like in Atlanta, right? 
with Trey Young or some fuck up. He just fuck up the whole series, blow the game. He could blow the whole NBA Finals. If he's walking down the street, nobody's going to be like, you, you fucking trash. Right. But in New York? It's different, bro. Nigga, that was see the star player. He'll like, fight you. Fucking trash. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to fight you. Like, it's a different respect with the ad. Like, people don't take it that serious in other cities. But. Bro, that's like, um, when we, that's like when the Hawks were playing Philly. Dude, spit on Trey Young, bro. Like, yeah, where like, they that's do that too at? Far, bro. Like, where they do that at, though? Like, you spit on this man? To like, me, my theory with that, my philosophy is like, that's, I always said that that's gay. Any, bro, I'm a fucking man, bro. I love sports. That's like all I watch, bro. I love sports. I'm a diehard sports fan, but I'm not a fanatic. Nah, so you get like to the that, level bro. where you go to a game, like, yeah, have I been to a game, like, talking shit? Yeah, but, like, to be disrespectful to a player or or to go as far as spitting on them or um, that means that you're taking this shit way too serious, bro, on, on some other men. A sport yeah. with some other, like, that's gay, bro. <laughs> Is it? Like, it's a little too much. Yeah, like, your team yeah. fucking lose and, like, I can understand, like, your day be kind of fucked up. But you go home and punch a wife or something. Like right, some people, right. Like, bro, that's you let another man because he missed yeah. a shot make you yell at your kids. You know, like, I think I think what it is is like like it's like what and we, we still on the Simone Biles topic, but we kind of so the thing is it's the journalists first off, and that's what Kwame Brown was saying about Stephen A. Smith. Right. They literally got enough power to make the people hate you. So when they yeah, start yeah. reporting things using certain wording and things like that. You'll see the, the public opinion change about you, bro. Like where you really ain't that bad. And they start talking about you like you track, like you the worst player. Because I remember with Ben Simmons, it was in the Hawks series. He had a one, it was they kept playing his one play over and over. He was under the basket. Dude did a crossover and gave him a perfect pass under yeah. the basket. And he no, could just dunked it. And I know it happened to him there. It was the same thing that happened to Simone Biles. His mind wanted to do one thing, yeah. but his body did something else. If you play basketball, like, you know he exactly wanted to dunk it, but he just pat, like no. What he happened got is, up. yeah, sometimes you be in that. It was two things shit. at once. I think what happened with Ben Simmons on that play is, it's like, of course he should have been dunked the ball, but he is such that's his game, a passer. So subconsciously. Soon as he, I can almost guarantee, as soon as he passed that ball, left his hand, I bet he said, fuck, I was right. He didn't try to do that. Like, if you do that play 10 times, he's going to dunk it nine times out of 10. Because like he's like six foot eight, six foot nine. And, and right. I seen him doing it. So, like you said, that's what I don't like about the media. The media will portray it. Like, if you look at how they portray that play, you that would make you think if, if he did that play 10 times out of 10, he would, he would pass it 10 times. Like, no. Yeah, maybe the pressure or whatever. He fucked up for sure. Yeah, yeah. But that's he typically dunks their ball. You know, I'm what gonna mean? tell you. It, I'm gonna tell you what this so much. I'm gonna tell you what this new phenomenon is opening the door for. This whole my mental health. You threw an interception on the last play of the game. What happened? My mental health. You yeah. you, you shot the last shot and you had three people on you and you missed the shot. What happened? My mental health. That's going to be the new answer for... That's, see, they're creating a monster right that's now. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like I can just say my mental health and people be like, oh, he's No, that's what I'm health. saying, bro. With, with, ben Simmons should have said it was my mental health. He might have got... That's what I'm saying. With, <laughs> got a pass DeMar DeRose, this. with DeMar DeRozan, Kevin Love, and Paul Deese. Yeah. That was already happened three times, um, a few times each with Kevin Love um, in the past few years. Yeah. Like, um, you could tell, like, Adam Silver embraced that and it's... Like I said, they got PSA for mental health now. I think that's what I'm sure the NBA always been, you know, yeah. supportive of it. But to me, I seen it specifically started when DeMar DeRozan came out. Because when they was fucking him and Kyle Lowry just kept fucking up in Toronto and they was getting attacked, you know. And um he basically came out and was like, nigga, I'm I'm depressed, nigga. I've yeah. I've been battling with mental health and, and the, the niggas were like, Oh, then you see all these NBA journalism think pieces on. And oh, players have mental health. Should we be more? Right, right. You know what I mean? And and yeah, I want to go ahead and put this disclaimer out. I am not insensitive to mental health at in no way, shape. Oh, hell no. I don't want nobody to think that this is not a joke. If you got real mental health issues, it's best to speak up and let people know that. Um, I just I'm just saying that I've been a sports fan since I was a kid, and this is I mean, even though people still dealt with dealt with mental health, that's never been an excuse for 
anything. You can't just sit out of anything. So I'm just going, I'm speaking, the, this is my ultimate rea reality, basically. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want nobody to get offended. If you do leave a comment, let me know how you feel because I want to know how you feel. But um, hey, on this show, I'm giving it to you 100% uncut. I'm giving you my ultimate Oh, yeah, reality. yeah. Every, every not, show, uh, bro. Insistent yeah. to it, we just... You know, it's questions that people Keeping have. It like, real, bro. Like, like, so if it's a world that's more sensitive about mental health, because we are, yeah. and that's a good thing, somebody going to ask the question, like, damn, man, I bet you could just use that as an excuse. It don't even have to be real. We're not saying, like, I, I use those examples, Kevin Love, the Rose, and Paul George. I'm not saying that mental health issues are not real. I'm just giving examples of where they, they let you real, know that real. they have mental health issues, and the media did back off a little bit. At the same time, Somebody can't in this day and age, in this climate, if you wanted to, I think you could get away with, like like you said, Ben Simmons, if it wasn't true, just to say, hey, man, I'm like dealing with some mental health me. issues, back yeah. off. And the media would back off. So it's fair to have that discussion. It don't mean that we um don't care about and, mental health or don't support And that. so, you know, then the discussion is the media is going to have to back off at this point, too, because they call pe they cause people mental health issues after the fact. So I remember when Mark Sanchez had the butt fumble. It's it's like 15 years later, bro. They still playing the butt fumble oh, on the loop. replay, bro. <laughs> like I'm sure that man got trauma yeah. from that because it's not that play. It's yeah. you keep playing that shit over and over and talking yeah. shit about me, bro. bro. You know what it is? It's like <laughs> um you ever like kind of broke up with a chick or whatever, and you know, he, he get over that shit, but you It'd be a period of time right after you break over, you be thinking about it a little bit. And then after a while, you don't need to be thinking about sure. Yeah. It's all good, you to move on. But it's still it's not like a two, three years later, but it's still in that time frame where you just moved on. But then you either run into her, somebody bring her up, or see a picture of her, and you'd be like, damn, and I I had forgot about this right. bitch. Like, why you, know, you all of breaking come that back again. then it come back again? Yeah. Like, damn, I gotta restart the process over again. It's like yeah. that, like you said, Mark Sanchez, bro. That shit been happening. Ha ha, it's a joke. Yeah, I fuck with that. <laughs> Niggas 15, 20 years later, he right. could be chilling at the house right now, turn on sports center. Like, let me see what's going on with the Olympics. They talking mm -hmm. about the upcoming NFL season, talking about the Jets, and then they playing that shit. <laughs> Even like, bro, what the fuck? Like, so I, I get it, bro. Yeah, bro. bro. The media is insensitive. Because so, we not uh, we not sports athletes, so nobody's playing our fuck ups or talking about like, oh yeah. damn, man, he a good nigga was late to work three times this month. I he can't get right. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Bro, it's, you know, we live in a, it's a funny um, society we in right now where they want you to be sensitive to everything. And then you look at the media and how they report things, not just sports media, but you can watch all, any media and it's the opposite, bro. They tearing these people up every day, bro. They talk shit every day about these people for ratings and for clicks and all this crazy stuff, bro. And it's like, that don't go along with the narrative, bro. You know, like you the ones making these people depressed with the way y'all re reporting this shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. man, man it's, you it, can't, it's just part of being an athlete. I guess that's the pro and the kind of pro is if you're a notable athlete, you probably gonna be making a whole lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Access to all that stuff, but then the cons and stuff like that, because you really can't win as an athlete because Kevin Durant, he's one of those people that are engaged with people on Twitter and he talks shit back to reporters and yeah, yeah. Fan, and if he, he sees some shit, he be on that shit. If he sees some shit he don't like, he gonna go. He like an internet forum poster, like right. you know, what I mean, like a regular dude. But what I see when he do that is, oh, he saw why is he replying to to back to that? Um, he should be above that. So it's like either you take the criticism or whatever, let people shit on you. But if you say something back, you shouldn't even be worried about that. Like you yeah, can't yeah. say nothing back. Like if Ben Simmons start replying. Like on Twitter to all these journalists, write these articles about them being like, nah, you wrong. I actually been working on my shooting. Like you stop reporting false shit about me. Um, he would get he would get heat. Like, oh, why is Ben Simmons mad? He's he's angry, he's replying. So yeah, it's like yeah. you, they control you the narrative. Win. Right. Yeah, yeah, because they, they they control the narrative. Um, it's real, bro. But um, I'm gonna tell her, I'm tell all the kids at home, don't try this shit when you go to work. Don't 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 tell your boss you need a mental. You're gonna get fired, motherfucker. You're gonna get fired. So you can't do what Simone Biles do. Uh, for everybody watching this show, don't call in and say I'm having a mental health day because you will get fired. <laughs> you can't sit out when you got a nine to five, motherfucker. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's 
Simone Bow straight, she got 27 medals. Like <laughs> that bitch could have quit. Not nah, bitch, I'm sorry. So she this, this quit. don't she apply to the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> right. These rich people problems. Yeah, real, bro. Or no, you know, just money, they don't have money issues. So the average person, they gotta worry about, you know, they check. Um they find, I mean, the, the athletes do too, but it's just on a different level. So yeah, be a little bit more careful um, before you go to HR telling them that you- that Yeah, you they be like, crazy. they look crazy. They, 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 def- they, definitely <laughs> go, they definitely go put it in your file and figure out a way to get rid of you. It might not be right away because you're going to have some type of protection because you told them, but they're going to document that shit and then they're going to figure out the strategy. Oh, yes, sir. Out of there. That's how that so, works. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Go see your doctor on your own. Don't let- like seriously, people with mental health issues don't fall for them corporate tricks. Them folks don't need to know your business. Go see your own doctor on your own, your primary care doctor, get them hooked with a counselor. Don't tell your job. If you need time out work, lie to them and tell them about other shit. Real. They don't play fair. That's they it, discriminate man. against people with mental health issues in society. So that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out like this. If you heard something that triggered you, comment below. The ultimate reality, and we out. That's what you call the ultimate reality.